We saw that Ji Ho and Madam Yu were going to meet in the previous episode. After their meeting, Ji Ho is taken to the hospital. Ji Ho was the victim of a hit and run accident that left him with a minor injury. Sang Eun and Madam Yu have threat on their lives. Ji Ho believed that the hit and run incident was not a random accident and that someone was trying to harm them. Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Please do support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe button, thank you. Let's begin. Choi Sang Eun mother as Madam Yu. Ji Ho looked into Choi Sang Eun's early years and discovered that Madam Yu might be Sang Eun's biological mother. He primarily wanted to meet Madam Yu for this reason. He is seeking confirmation of their true connection. The victim's view matters the most. Ji Ho asks his colleague about their opinion of the case he is investigating. It concerns a woman who left her child behind and later returned to illegally adopt her and treat her like a product. She did a good job of raising her child while concealing their relationship. One of his co-workers expresses his opinion and informs him that, because they are unfamiliar with the experience, it is difficult to express an opinion on the matter personally. But once we are aware of the victim's perspective, we can respond accordingly. Ji Ho gets the idea to ask some questions about Sang Eun's feelings toward Madam Yu regarding the adoption in her childhood that led to the woman she is today. Sang Eun responds that even though she despises Madam Yu so much and wants to curse her for treating her like a product, she doesn't want to hurt the woman who raised and cared for her. Ji Ho tells Madam Yu to apologize to Sang Eun. Ji Ho has a conversation with Madam Yu. He tells her about what he found during his investigation. He wants to confirm that Madam Yu is the biological mother of Choi Sang Eun. Ji Ho asked her to apologize to Sang Eun for everything, including the lie she hid. But Madam Yu disagreed, stating that perhaps Sang Eun would be so badly hurt by the truth. However, Ji Ho arranges a meeting between Sang Eun and Madam Yu. In their meetup, Madam Yu took the chance to apologize and ask for forgiveness from Sang Eun. She mistakenly believed that everything she had could make Sang Eun happy. Sang Eun expressed her emotion of what she really felt at the moment she felt truly happy. She also gives Madam Yu her reasons why she keeps sending money to her for almost 13 years, not because she is obliged to do so but because she is worried about Madam Yu. Just after a positive resolution to their conversation, the two of them are taken a picture by the staff as part of their service. Because of Ji Ho, Madam Yu was relieved to see Sang Eun smiling and laughing. She feared Choi Sang Eun wouldn't lead the life she had imagined for her. She genuinely cared about Sang Eun and worried about her well-being. She is unsure of Ji Ho's whereabouts and suspects Sang Eun of deceiving her when she questions her about it. She asks Guanam, who responds by sharing what he knows. Ji Ho is a judge, a wealthy man, and able to provide for Sang Eun. Hei Jin has resigned. Hei Jin's decision to end his career was a significant one. He apologized to his fans for keeping his true identity a secret. He claimed in his statement that he and Sang Eun are formally breaking up due to the media attention they receive and that he is giving up acting in order to devote more time to his personal life. He goes back to his family's home and begins working for their company with Ji Eun, his attorney. Guanam thinks that Hei Jin may be up to something as he questions Hei Jin about why he unexpectedly returned to his family, despite not wanting to. Sang Eun is practicing to organize things. Choi Sang Eun, our fashionista girl, has finally tidied up her messy behavior, such as leaving her used clothes all over her room and having a messy table when she was cooking. With Guanam and Madam Yu's help, they show Sang Eun how to fold garments, organize things, and clean the kitchen area after cooking. Sang Eun decided to become more organized so that she could give a new impression on Ji Ho. Sang Eun's Wild Imagination When Guanam asks Sang Eun how far they have come with Ji Ho in their relationship, she is speechless. Guanam tells her that since she doesn't have someone to guide her when it comes to a fun night together, he tells her what to do. While explaining, Sang Eun created a wild imagination in her mind. She thought of making love with Ji Ho. Then Guanam wakes her up from her imagination. It is indeed so fun. Ji Ho meets his ex-wife, Ji Eun. Ji Ho returned things to his ex-wife, including the alimony he had received following their divorce. 
We believed that Ji Ho's decision to enter into a contract with Sang Eun was primarily based on his desire to spend the money his ex-wife left him. Instead, he placed it aside and waited for the right time to return it to her ex-wife. When Ji Ho mentions the meeting that happened between him and his ex-wife to Sang Eun, she becomes jealous and ignores Ji Ho. Sang Eun is invited by Ji Ho to a gathering with his boss and their partners. Ji Ho thought that Sang Eun might be upset with him for being honest with her about his ex-wife when Sang Eun didn't show up. As Ji Ho was about to go home, he met Sang Eun at the entrance. And instead of going inside the golf club, they decide to go to Ji Ho's home. At Ji Ho's place, he expresses his emotion towards Sang Eun. He reminded Sang Eun about their first meetup. He said that he was about to cancel their contract because he thought his behavior was unreasonable. He recalls feeling at ease during their first dinner, and he thinks this is why their contract was extended by about five years. He states that he didn't want to lose her. Ji Ho tells Sang Eun to stay with him that night. Let me know your thoughts down below. Remember to like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching. Bye.